So in this video, we're gonna create a timeline. We're gonna create a page that shows us all of the posts by users that we're following. So let's get started. So we're gonna create our timeline on our homepage. We're gonna create a variable up here called show timeline. And it's gonna be equal to false. And if the user is logged in, we're gonna set show timeline equal to true. And down here, what we'll do is create a query. So we're gonna build this query live inside this SQL client. So we're gonna say, select all from followers and we're gonna click run. And now it selects everything from our followers table. Since we're logged in as Francis and Francis has the ID of one, we only wanna get these last two rows. So we're gonna say we're follower ID equals one. And we're gonna run that. And now you can see we have a list of everyone who Francis is following and he's only following two accounts. So now what we wanna do is get the posts out of those accounts. So we're gonna select from the posts table as well, like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select posts.body to get the body of the post because we don't want all the rest of it. Then what we need to do is join our tables together. So down here, I'm gonna change that to an and and above it, we're gonna join the two tables. So we're gonna say the posts.userID column is gonna be joined with the followers.userID column. So the user who wrote the post, we're gonna get their ID and we're gonna get the user ID out of the follower column. And if the two match, then that means that the user who wrote the post is being followed by Francis, for example. So if I click run, now you can see we have three posts. And those are the three posts by the accounts that Francis is following. And what we're also gonna get is the posts.user ID. And that tells us who wrote the post. And we could also do another join. So we could say users.username to get the username. And then we wanna select from the users table as well. And then we're gonna join the users table by saying users.id is equal to posts.userid. And now we can see the username of who wrote the post, how code wrote those two, and verified wrote that one. And we can now delete the user ID because we don't need it anymore. So now we have the post body and the username of whoever posted it. So now given a specific user, we can check who they're following and we can get the posts written by the user they're following and we can get their username too. So we're gonna copy that and we're gonna use this query now. So we're gonna set following posts. It's gonna be equal to our query. Query is gonna be a DB query. And then we're gonna pass in this big string, just like that. And now we'll just print underscore R following posts. And let's see what we get. So you can see we get exactly what we expected. We get a list of posts and we get a list of usernames and they're all the people the user's following. So down here, what we'll say is for each following posts as post echo post body, because we want the body initially. And then we'll put in a horizontal line. So now you can see all of the posts from people the user's following. So what we might like to do is show the username. We could do something like this, put in a squiggly line and then say post username. Now you can see who wrote the posts. And we might also want to know how many likes each post has. So we can go back to our table. When we're getting the post body, we might also want to get the number of likes. So we can say posts dot likes to get the number of likes. And now we can see how many likes each post has. And we might want to organize the posts to show the post with the most number of likes at the top. So to do that, what we want to do is at the end, we'll say order by posts dot likes DESC for descending. And that will show the verified post at the top because it has one like and the other two have zero. So if we click run now, the Verified post shows up at the top. If I was to give the high code post an artificial number of likes, say for example 10, it has now gone to the top. So we're gonna keep it like that. We're gonna copy and paste this query into our database. And by using joins, it makes our query a lot more complicated, but it does allow us to shrink the number of queries, but obviously each query is more complicated and it takes the computer more time to actually do each query. So we're gonna run this again and our verified post is at the top. So that's it for this video. We're gonna be building upon this in the next video and the videos that follow to make it do a lot more things other than just display text on the screen. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit, and I'll see you next time.